So welcome back again on this tutorial of line following robot using a copula sim. I'm Dr. Prashant Upadhyay and today I will going to guide you how to design your line following robot. So this tutorial will be the extended version of a bubble rope which you have already designed in your previous classes or through the previous video. If you have not seen that videos, you have to go through that video so that you can be able to design this bubble rope. If not, then also you don't have to worry because we will going to use a pre-existing model which we have got and then we will going to try. So the pre-request of this uh, line following robot is that you should fully read and understood the first bubble rope tutorial which we have explained you with the help of our videos. So we have got certain steps. First what we have to do is that we have to load the scene of our first bubble rope tutorial which has been located in the scene tutorial bubble rope. So if you have not designed the bubble rope completely, you can go to this scene tutorial bubble rope and you can find it and copy it in the another folder. So let me show you where it is. I'm going into this uh, file open scene and from here you can see I have got this file and here you can find the tutorial. So let me open this from here and then you will be able to understand. Okay, so we have got a tutorial. And in this tutorial, we have got a bubble rope. Okay, so this is the bubble rope file which you will be required. Okay, if you have your own model which you have designed, it's good. You can start practicing on that model also. But if you don't have, you can just copy this from here. I will going to show you with the help of this model. So what I will going to do, I will going to copy this model and will going to create another folder. So I'm showing that folder also. So I will going to create a line following robot and I have pasted here and once I click it, I will get the bubble rope which we have designed. So this was the obstacle detection robot. It detect the obstacles and it will try to change the path and here you will getting the graph. Okay, so we will going to stop it and now what the next step we have to do is that we have to follow the our we have to design a line following robot which will going to follow the line. So we will try to make a tracks in this scene and the bubble rope will going to follow that tracks and try to run it on that tracks. So for this, we have to do certain things. The second step which you have to do is that we have to create first three vision sensor that will be attached to the bubble rope object. How you will going to do? You will go into the add button from there. You will going to select the vision sensor and from you from there, you will going to select the orthogonal type and now the as you will going to see the vision sensor which you have selected is facing upward. Okay, so we have to make because what we have to do, we have to follow the path. Okay, we have to follow the track so that my bubble rope can run on that track. Maybe you have seen the in some of the countries, we have the buses that are being running on the road and that follow the particular tracks. Similarly, we have got our robots, okay, that are line following robots. So we will design some line okay black line or white lines okay and the robot will going to follow that path so let me do this one first so i am going on to the add button vision sensor and orthogonal type so now you can see that the vision sensor which i have added is facing upwards now what we have to do first is that we have to make some properties of it okay so you have to double click on this camera shape and what you have to do is that First, you have to ignore depth info. So you have to select that. Then what we are doing, we are adjusting the far clipping to 0 0.06 and resolution to one cross. So let me go to here, ignore depth info. This is 0 0.06 and this is one cross done. Now next step, what we have, the vision sensor which we have got has to face the ground as I have told you that it has to follow the path. Okay, so what we have to do, we have to go on to the orientation dialog box. And now if we come from here to here, so how many angle we have to shift 90, 90. That means we are talking about the shifting of a 180 degree. So how you will going to do select vision sensor, click on orientation dialog box and add on a alpha 180 rest beta zero gamma. So let me show you this vision, vision sensor has been selected orientation depth orientation here you write 180 so now you can see a uh, vision sensor has been facing down we will going to show you next step what we have to do is that we have to copy the vision sensor because we require three vision sensor okay so we will going to copy and paste ctrl c ctrl v 
and then we will going to rename it as a left sensor middle sensor and right sensor so let me do it control c control v control v so you can see renaming it as a left sensor then this one as a middle sensor and this one as a right sense okay done now you can see that the sensor which we are having is all of them are being placed at one point only let me show you that sensor can you see these sensors are being placed at this one point only so we have to separate this sensor okay what we have to do we have to separate this sensor so what we have to do now first we will going to modify the environment so what we will be trying to do is that we will going to remove few slender in front of the bubble rope and also we will going to make them as a okay so you here you can see bubble rope is this and now left sensor right sensor middle sensor are the the child of this bubble rope okay so bubble rope is the parent of this left sensor right sensor middle sensor we will going to try to remove some cylinder simply what you have to do you have to select the cylinder and you have to delete it done and now what we have to do we have to make this left sensor right sensor and middle sensor as the child of a bubble so what we will going to do we will going to select left sensor middle sensor right sensor and then bubble rope and go to the edit button make last selected object as a parent now you can see here that we have got left sensor middle sensor and right sensor and there is other part of the bubble rope for the step what we have to do is that we have to position the sensor correctly okay so we again we have to click on the position dialog box and from there we have to select the position tab and we have to give the position of the left sensor middle sensor and right sensor so left sensor we have to give 0 0.2 0 0.04 to 0 0.018 okay so let me do it for this so left sensor position tab 0 0.2 then you can see 0 0.042 then 0 0.018 okay now you can see you can clearly see that the sensor which was inside the bubble rope has come in front of the bubble rope similarly we will going to do this thing for the middle sensor so middle sensor we are saying 0.2 0 0 0.018 0 0.2 0 and 0 0.018 okay now you can see another sensor is here similarly we will going to do it for the right sensor 0.2 and see left sensor we want that it should be in the distance should be away from the left sensor so here we have used 0 0.042 and here we will be using minus 0 0.042 okay so i'm doing it right sensor position so 0 0.2 then minus 0 0.042 then 0 0.018 okay now you can see that we can clearly see the three sensors here on the okay one two three sensors are there on the curve now next what we have to do is we have to select the left sensor middle sensor and right sensor and then control select bubble rope then we have to make it as a parent so in a new version you have got a set parent keep pose this we have already done now what we have to do next is that we want to design a track so how we will going to design a track we will going to design a closed track okay so how we will going to do it we will go on to the add path and we will go on to the closed so you will going to see that this closed path will going to come so let me go on to the add path and close path so here you can see a closed path is been visible to you i hope okay so the next step what we have to do is that we have to customize the script which has been attached to the this path so how we will going to do is that we will double click on this and we will going to copy this code okay so this code is already available with me and you can download it from the link of the bubble rope site or even i will going to attach it on my drive so from there you can download this and then you have to restart the script so that the effect can take place okay so let me do it for you so i have the code here i will going to copy this control c i will go on to my path then here you can see i will going to paste it 
and I will going to restart it. That's all. Now further what we have to do is that we open the path for the user configuration. That means I don't want this circle. Okay. I want to design my own path. Okay. And once I have generated that path, what I will going to do is that I will click on extrude shape in the check box. So you will going to see a road type structure, a black color uh, road will going to be designed. So you will see this road type black color pattern will going to appear. Okay. So let me show you this. So you can see that this, we have got this path. We will going to configure our own path. So you will going to click on this plus path icon. And from here you will get a CTRL PT that is a control point zero. Okay. Control point one. So you will going to see that there are almost 15 control points through which this pa uh, this uh, path is being designed. So what I will going to do, I will click on control point zero and then I will click on position tab and then I will going to move it like this. Okay. Similarly, I will go for the control point one. I can design my own part. It's up to you how you are designing. So let me design some shape for you so that uh, or we can have a more path for our bubble loop to follow. So let's say I have designed it this. Okay. Let me close it. And now what I have to do, I have to click on this three bar. Can you see this three bar? And here you can see generate extrude shape. Okay. Now you can see this road type structure is coming here. Then what do you have to do? Now you have to add a child script as we have done in the bubble rope in the bubble rope tutorial so that we can control the bubble rope behavior. Okay. So we have got a Python and Lua again. Okay. It's up to you, which you will be using. So if in a new version, we have got a Python and Lua and here we will be using the Lua. Okay. So again, we will have a code with us. So I will going to use the Lua script. I have to click on my line following robot. I will select my code Lua code. And then I will go on to my bubble rope and I will delete this and I will paste it and I will restart the script. Now what we are going to see that now our bubble rope should be able to follow that path. Okay. And if it is able to follow the path, you have completed your line following bubble rope tutorial. So we will going to remove all the cylinders first and uh, we will going to make more here. Okay. So <clears throat> now you can see my bubble rope is able to follow my path. So this is all about my bubble rope tutorial. So thank you. I hope that you were able to follow this uh, tutorial part and you were able to generate the line following robot. So thank you everyone.